With four operating divisions, approximately 50 employees, and a $4.1 million budget, the task of overseeing the city's public works department is no small feat. In May, the city welcomed a new staff member to fill that role. Edina 16's Emily Kastner and Steve Christensen have more on the story. Behind the scenes, Edina's public works department is responsible to maintain the city's infrastructure, including streets, sewers, bridges, water mains, wells, hydrants, and sidewalks. The public works department does our best to try to be as inconspicuous as possible. But these four operating divisions, streets, utilities, electrical, and fleet maintenance, need an experienced leader. The city hired a seasoned veteran to do just that. In May, Brian Olson became the new director of public works and is proud to call Edina his new home. Edina is a gem of the Twin Cities, if not the state of Minnesota. One thing that I can say through and through, and that is that every employee here takes a great deal of pride in the public service that they provide. So and with the, more than 20 years of experience at different cities, including New Brighton and Ramsey, Olson is more than qualified to be the leader of this hardworking crew. I think what set Brian apart was, um, I think he had a really good understanding of the front level workers. Um, he respected um, and understood the job that they had to do day in and day out. I was interested in public works because the whole primary purpose of me getting into the public sector was to help people. And he has a plan to lead his staff toward an even greater standard of customer service for the residents of Edina. They definitely have their work cut out for them, but the expectations are high and um, they've been staffed for success and given the tools necessary in order to do their job effectively. With Steve Christensen, I'm Emily Kastner, Edina 16. When Brian Olson isn't overseeing the city's public works department, he serves as a volunteer firefighter for the city of New Brighton where he lives.